today I'm going to be showing you the ultimate craft supply organization. This is so amazing and it is definitely one you are not going to want to miss. Hey everybody, welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, well, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose, mm-hmm, in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today, I am so excited to be bringing to you the ultimate craft supply organization. While I've been purging my house, doing the attic, doing the sheds, doing my office, and also my craft room, I really wanted everything in this house to have one place and one place only. So when I needed something, I knew where I could go to get it and I wasn't searching three or four or five different places for it. And my house is actually coming to a close when it comes to purging it. I have just about done everything that I wanted to do. Reorganizing my craft supplies that are in the garage was definitely number one on the list once that attic got done. I can't wait to show you my ultimate craft supply organization because I feel like it is super budget friendly and it is one that maybe will help you to organize your craft supplies too. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna quit my gabbin. Let's go ahead into the garage and take a look. Let's go outside and let me show you how I tried my best to make this room look like part of the house itself. Yes, we do not wear shoes in the house. Now, although this is not the craft stuff, so many of you did see that this is how I organized the garage part of the garage. The other area, which is my craft area. And so although this is a garage, I wanted it to feel like another room, a storage room, if you will. And when you go on this side of the garage, I wanted it to feel like storage for my crafting supplies and so this is where I go shopping when I need something for a DIY so this here is Kayla's shelf this is just a plastic shelf um, that I bought by hyper tough at Walmart it's nothing fancy but it is I will tell you zip tied I think you can kind of see the zip ties all the way down to this heavier set um, shelf because it's not the most durable it's not the best but Kayla is such an artist too and is creative like myself and she had all of this stuff in her room and her room just didn't feel like her room anymore it felt like a hodgepodge of things so not only did she get the shelf but she got a shed too so now her room is just her room you come over to this shelf I've got my sewing stuff here um, I've got more of these bins, extra ones, because I bought them online. And I've got stuff, you know, just the wall decor plaques and whatnot that you see at Dollar Tree that are amazing that I like to use in my DIYs. Some of the glassware, of course, and then just other stuff as well. Sand, DIY soap, the tiles that are amazing, wax, and then this is now where I keep my scrapbooking paper out here. I didn't want it in the house anymore. These blue bins were marked down to $7 at Walmart right now, and only the blue ones are. And so I figured for $7 versus 12, that is a steal and they will be perfect for my craft room and the garage. And then we've got stuff down here like uh, my Jenga blocks there. I've got Dollar Tree wood pieces, Dollar Tree frames. I've got a couple bins of the Dollar Tree wood pieces because I do do so many tiered trays. 
um, one of these longer clear bins is just for gift bags. I do reuse gift bags. I do. When I get one, if it's in good condition, I reuse it. And so this longer uh, Sterilite bin is perfect for that. Um, I've got one of the bigger clear containers that are just for the wall decor plaques that I like to repurpose. And so if it doesn't fit in there, no more gets added to it. I like to use these clear bins for my crafting items because I like to see exactly what's inside of them. These clear bins are bins that you can get at Walmart. I couldn't find one of the plastic paper towel holders and so I wanted paper towels in my garage because I'm always in here doing stuff. And so I used one of Dollar Tree's things and then I just zip tied it to my shelf and it kept sliding off. So yeah, <laughs> ingenuity at its finest. Um, I do use one of these. Um, my glasses are on it right now and that's so I don't misplace them. But my phone typically goes here and I have a phone charger. And so when I'm out here, I place my phone in there so I don't misplace it and then, yeah. So here we go to the good stuff. Before I organized this garage, I will tell you that things for Easter were probably in 10 different places, no joke. And so I never really knew what I had to DIY for Easter and I found that I was rebuying stuff at Dollar Tree that I already had because I didn't know where the stuff was. For each holiday or season, it gets one bin. And everything that I had for that holiday or season went in that bin. So now when Easter comes, guess what? Yes, the satisfaction in this is taking this bin out and looking through it when it's time to do some spring and Easter DIYs or time to do some Christmas. How about fall? We love fall. I might do a few Halloween. Once in a while I do. You can see that one is not very full. And I do have one up there. It's driving me crazy that it's out of place, but for Valentine's Day, because that's another fun one. I feel like the key to the ultimate craft organization is being able to see what is in each bin and labeling it. it I think labeling really was the key to everything for me because I just come out here and I know where it is or I just look for the tag and that is just ah! you know there are some mis mismatched things but I will tell you that the budget I had for the garage is gone and so there was nothing left to do this stuff up here that's gonna have to wait I'm not one who blows my budgets I love stamps We've got glitter, we've got embroidery string, paper flowers, you see it all, clothespin, yes, more twine, can never have enough of that, felt flowers, rhinestones, buttons, and brads, and look at that. That there, everybody, is my stash of Waverly paint since Walmart stopped carrying it. This is what everybody has sent to me. I did buy a little bit, but so many of you subscribers sent me Waverly paint and oh my word, yes, I will not need to buy any forever. So I will tell you that whatever burlap ribbon I had, if it doesn't fit in this drawer, I didn't keep it. I donated it. But you see how I organized everything. And these are all the fake flowers that I keep. The flowers, berries and cotton, more flowers. And yes, I do have a healthy stash of fabric. Two 90 gallon bins of fabric and some smaller ones of fat quarters. These here are the shelves that you can get at Costco and Sam's Club for about $230. And then I want to say that these heavier duty ones, heavier duty ones are from Lowe's and these are a bit more expensive. You need to wait for these drawers to go on sale at Walmart. The wider ones, and these are not the fancy ones. These are the Sterilite low budget ones. They're not the woven ones. These ones typically are $21. They go on rollback to 15. 
So you want to keep your eye open for them because that was what I waited for because I knew I wanted to get more of these. And I had a lot of these half bins um, that I reused. I wasn't going to throw them away and get bigger ones. And so um, I did use those. Those were ones that I already had, but I did pick up about eight of these larger ones. And um, yes, this is how it is organized. And this here is cardstock. I should probably put that over with the scrapbooking paper. I'm not sure why it's still there. I think I'm gonna move that actually. But yes, I do have a healthy stash of cardstock because I use it all the time in my Cricut. Stickers, I really downsized when it came to stickers, if you can believe that. Felt is another thing I love to use around fall and harvest. And my favorite farmhouse flowers are in there, which are separate from the holiday and seasonal flowers that are down there. And so yes, this I would say is the ultimate craft organization. I am loving the way this is. This is on a budget, I would say, 100% on a budget. Um, you know, I really just, I will tell you, I put aside $200 out of my home improvement money to organize my craft stuff. $200 is what I spent on tags, bins, shoe bins, um, is pretty much what I spent. And the bulk of it was, like I said, the plastic drawers here. I couldn't be happier with the way it looks. There is stuff on the back side of this. This is a three car garage. This is the single car garage. So let me open this up and go around and show you what I did over there. It's not really craft related, but I had three feet back there that I wanted to utilize. So I'll show you how I utilized it. And here is the back side of that. There is seriously just enough room to shut the garage door. This garage door really doesn't get opened all that much. This was a bin that was in Kayla's room that I was going to donate. I did take the top off of it, it's right here, because it would not fit under my shelf with the top on it. And I wanted the convenience when I washed my car of just opening this garage door and having access to everything that I need to wash my car, not having to go in and out of the garage to get everything I need. And so yeah, I cleaned it up and it works perfect for everything that I need. Yes, I use Dollar Tree stuff, it does work. Yes, but I will tell you that the best tire shine ever is this tire shine here that you can get at Costco in a three pack. Oh my word, when it says untouchable, yes, it really is. I love my tires to look wet. And so yeah, all of this stuff is just in here and it makes it really easy for me to wash my car along with the waxes and the soaps that I use right there. And when I close it, nobody's none the wiser. These are the rolls that I use for the backgrounds of my videos. And since I don't need them all that often, I just leave them out here in a five gallon bucket. So when I do need to change out my backgrounds because they're run down, I can get them. Thank you, single car garage. I am going to utilize all of the space that I can to make everything neat, accessible, and convenient. And so this here, pan, 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 is my finished garage. 100% done. The attic up here is done. Oh, let me just show you. Yes, I am true to my nature. That is a twine ball that I attached to this, which is the access to my attic. And yeah, and so there was just a cord there before, but it definitely needed a twine ball. At the end of the day, I am living a happier, healthier, more organized life. And um, yes, people, I am not a minimalist by any means. I am a crafter on YouTube, a DIYer. That is what I do for a living. 
So this is a must. I don't expect that everybody is going to have this amount of supplies, but just keep in mind in my defense that this is what I do for a living. This is my full-time job, YouTube. And so um, this is needed. How about a quick peek into the craft room? I've done a bit of fine tuning. For the most part, I would say that the craft room looks the same aesthetically, but organization wise, I did put about $100 of my budget into adding to the, I guess, organization of this. When I first did this room, I really was limited because I had already put money into painting it, buying the chair and whatnot and the desks, and so it was something that had to wait. It's been about a year and a half since I've done this craft room, and so you will see that there are several different areas to this room, and this isn't a huge room, but I really did maximize the space that I did have to suit the needs that I needed. And so you can see here, over here is uh, my computer area, this is not the computer I edit on. This computer is strictly for crafting. Um, editing on a laptop is really hard to do. It really takes a lot longer to edit a video on a laptop versus a desktop. I started out editing on a laptop for my first couple years. Then my son built me this monstrosity of a computer that is strictly for editing. And this monster does my editing, I would say, in half the time that I did on my laptop, therefore making it more time efficient. And so yes, this is where I do all of my editing and there is my mic for my voiceovers. I will say when I write my blogs, I come in this room and shut the door and this is where I write my blogs but it's just more convenient to have a computer that is set up to my crickets. And um, yes, this is my cricket area. And I do have these because as most of you know, I am sponsored by Cricket since I wanna say last year sometime. And so it has been a great collaboration with them that I've really enjoyed creating content for them. But yes, as we rotate here, you will see that this here is the filming area for my DIYs. And this pretty much just stays up. I initially bought this table because it is a collapsible table, but I just find that because I have such a good setup in this room, I don't need to take this down. And it saves so much time not having to set my lighting up, my cameras up, the table up, the background up. All I have to do is really just turn this chair around and work. Now this craft table was originally in the central living area of my house. This was the first upgraded craft table that I ever had that I put in my living room. And it was the background of a lot of my videos. And I loved it so much that I just kind of cleaned it up, brought it in here, and this was the perfect wall for it. I don't really do much creating there. I feel like it acts more of a storage than anything and a place for my TV, but it's great for Allie if she wants to come in here and just do her schoolwork as well if I'm on the computer. And so yes, this is where all, I would not all, but I would say 75% of the creating happens along with, like I said, turning this way and that is where I film my intros. This is where I keep a lot of the everyday things that I use in DIY, items that I use most often. And so I like them being in here so I don't have to go out to the garage all the time. So let's take a look at some of the fine tuning that I've done. Aha, here we go. Okay, it may look very similar, but it has changed quite a bit. These plastic bins are full of DIYs that are ready to do in film. Um, 
my journals, calendars, and whatnot, appointments, books, I keep all in here. These two are DIYs that I am getting ready to film now. The ones up here are future ones. These are ones that need to be done ASAP for upcoming holidays and whatnot. Um, these drawers are new. Like I told you, I think I bought 10 of them because they were $7. And I used to have the rolling cart with the drawers, and I think that there were 12 drawers in each cart, maybe 10. I found that the drawers were horrendous. I was over the drawers. The drawers in the rolling cart would collapse into each other. When I would go to open them, they'd fall out of the guides or the railing. And I just, it was just one of those things that I absolutely hated. And there wasn't even all that much weight in them. And so when I saw that these were $7, they're much more sturdy. The drawers are bigger, more heavy duty. And so I just took the plunge and um, bought these to replace uh, the rolling cart drawers. And I couldn't be happier with it. I think it's so much better and went ahead this time and labeled each of the drawers so I'm not opening every drawer looking for what it is that I'm looking for because maybe I forget what drawer is it's in. I do keep a lot of vinyl in here because I use heat transfer and regular transfer vinyl a lot. Because I use so many mats, I went ahead and put some screws into the wall here um to hang up my different colored mats and i also did it along this wall space as well and these here are just shelves that you can buy at michael's and they fit the 12 by 12 um containers that michael sells in them perfectly i of course altered them and left some of the shelves out to give me bigger spaces in some of the areas but as you can see, I've reorganized so much that I have a lot of empty bins now. And again, I use the drawers. I've got two sets of the smaller drawers here. And then I have an old mainstay shelf that I use. Um, I think that was in Ray's room. And in these, I really just kind of use, I don't know if you can see, this is where I keep all my planks and uh, sticks, sorry if that's a little blurry. And then my Simply Earth there in the back. This is a closet and I really wanted to get the most out of the closet and so um, I added a long shelf the whole length of the closet so I could utilize the space in between this and up here. It was just an empty space that I felt like was getting wasted. And so by adding a shelf to it, it then allowed me to put these bins for upcoming DIYs. The bins are kind of mismatched. Again, I really didn't put aside a lot of money for this room, but they, they work. And so maybe someday I'll change them out, but for now I don't. These shoe racks are amazing for the top shelf. Again, adds way more storage to the closet. And so overall, because I work from home, really staying organized, getting the most out of my space without feeling like it was taking over my entire house was really my main goal. And I feel like I have done that. My craft stuff is now limited to this craft room and my garage area, and that is it. I, I will tell you that before it was in the office that I edit in, it, it was really everywhere. Have I said I couldn't be happier with the outcome of my craft supplies? Not only in the garage, but in my craft room. I know what I have, I know where it's at, and that is a glorious thing. And ah, I can just sing to the stars about it because I just feel that this is such a healthy way to live and I'm not rebuying anything. And I tell you, as I was reorganizing, there were things that I found that I knew I was looking for and I just thought, shoot, I rebought that. But you know what, that's never gonna happen again and I am so excited about that. For those of you who wanna stick around and see how I organized the garage side of my garage, there are some new updates. Since I last did it with the cube organizers, I tell you, my garage, my attic, my sheds, my craft room, my craft supplies 
100% organized. Let me show you a recap of the garage for those of you who haven't seen it and some of the updates that I've added to it since I've last done it. Now these here, these shelves here are all of our shoes. This bottom row is Allie's, this is Kayla's, and this is mine. And then these are just like winter boots and snow boots that we wear after snowboarding. And then we've got just some towels for Winnie when she gets a bath, cleaning stuff, all that kind of fun stuff. And then we've just got more storage here. If there's not a tag, it means they're empty and my eyes just won't allow me not to have bins there because it will make me crazy. Up on top is obviously the Costco and Sam's Club shopping. I don't wanna store this stuff in the house. So that shelf there is designated to it. And then if you don't know, we do have guinea pigs. We have eight guinea pigs. Yes, we've had them for about four years now. And uh, we do use reusable bedding because it is better for their paws. And so um, this is all the stuff that we need for guinea pigs. We've got their pellets here. And then we've got more of their hay and pellets because I order from Chewy. And um, I've got my mason jars because I do have a lot of them. And I have one of these huge 90 gallon. Yes, it's an earthquake kit. And so I am prepared if an earthquake happens because I do live in California. I actually live right on the San Andreas Fault, uh, to be exact. And so I feel like it's important to have an earthquake kit. And it just has some of the essentials. It's got a couple gallons of water in it. It's got some Dollar Tree's LED light lanterns that are really bright. These are the Dollar Tree lanterns that I put in the earthquake kit. I wanna say I have about 10 of them because they work amazing and they're just battery operated and you push this button here and yeah, they are really, really bright. These are in LED light. And so um, I do have extra batteries in there along with 10 of these lights. So we do have lights in case the electricity goes out. I also have a couple of these in the house too. I wanna say maybe five or six because I am in an area where rolling blackouts happen often. In that earthquake kit, I've got rice, I've got pasta, I've got oatmeal and pancake mix, cup of noodles I think I have, and um, maybe some canned goods. I'm not really sure. It's been about a couple of months since I filled it up. Nerf guns, snowboarding boots, um, Allie gets one bin for outdoor fun, meaning bubbles, sidewalk chalk, whatever it may be. And so that is the bin that she gets. And if it doesn't fit in there, then she doesn't get to keep it or doesn't get to add to it. And I don't know if you all have seen, but yes, we are avid snowboarders here. And so um, it is a huge part of our life in the winter time. And then we've just got more stuff here and then Allie has her own bin for slime making she is only allowed to make slime here in the garage and there is a tarp in that bin for her to put down to protect yes my newly painted floor I know I have OCD can't help it and I do have a laundry hamper for those Yes, dirty rags. This is, I will tell you, my toolbox that I am super proud of. It is everything mine that I have accumulated and I love all of my battery operated tools. They are the best. No gas, no electricity needed other than to charge the batteries, but I love them and I do keep my batteries plugged in, charging because I want them fully charged when I'm ready to use them. And of course I had to paint a snap on chair, right? With the crafted life, I'm sure you all saw that already. Okay, and I do have a roll away um, toolbox that I love, love, love. I do a lot of uh, woodworking and so this is a perfect table height for that. So I will tell you now, I am not proud at all of the paint area, but I do have a few home improvement DIYs that are still in the midst. And so um, this may be fine tuned. 
no, it will be when I'm done with my projects. But for now, it's just gonna have to stay that way. Um, and I do have more of these $7 bins with zip ties and hooks and whatnot. Dollar Tree has these amazing bins. They come in a four pack for $1.25 and they are perfect for organizing things like screws. And I do, I do keep screws that come with furniture that you have to put together or something because half the time they come with anchors and you never know when you're gonna need them. And so whatever fit in here is what I kept. We've got bolts, nails, and smaller screws as opposed to the bigger ones. Yes, this whole thing is full of that and it is organized just like that. And these are perfect for that. I wanna say I used five packs of these, which was perfect. And um, yeah, and that's how I keep everything organized. I hope you all enjoyed today's video of my ultimate craft supply organization how I organized my craft room and my garage. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, and I know I do sound like a broken record, but it's true. Each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, well, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy everything on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive please, because I am. Bye for now everybody.